Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been gone a very, very long time. Um, I would like to start this video by rambling as usual, but by saying thank you so much to everyone for being so patient and supportive with me. Um, if you don't know, obviously I'm an adult now. Um, I have a full-time job. I have to pay rent, yada, yada, yada. I have less time, um, blah, blah, blah. I could go on and on. Um, so crafting is obviously kind of gone a bit downhill as I did warn it would um, I've done a couple of videos on here warning sort of what might happen um, after uni and after school and stuff so obviously the prophecy came true but yeah I am back today with actually a proper clay video because I know the last couple have been either package openings which I love to watch and a lot of you love to watch and also vlogs which again a lot of you do like to watch and I get requests all the time for them but obviously this is a craft channel and I would like to keep it that way but obviously without any time to craft and crafting anything new those videos become a lot harder to do but yeah I'm back today with a charm update which is sort of where it all began so I'm quite happy about that and as usual I want to say here I'm obviously going to try even harder from now on to get videos out I do have some planned they're not all good obviously going to be clay videos and the majority will not be solely like clay videos or tutorials and stuff because that's just not what I'm going to be able to do but tutorials were never really my strong suit anyway because I obviously my ideas are just not as good as a lot of people's, not in a depressing way, I'm just not someone who comes up with a lot of different designs. However, just saying that, I have actually got a load of new designs to show you in this video and I really hope you enjoy it. I will obviously be trying to upload more and I do have some videos ready, but the majority of them will not be clay videos. As I said, I will obviously be keeping this a craft channel, but a lot of them will be package openings and things, which again, I know a lot of people like, but I do just want to keep it solely centred around clay with obviously a lot of different videos, but we'll see how that goes. Right, I'm going to stop rambling now because no one is here for that. You may like vlogs and package openings, but you definitely don't like rambling. So yeah, I'm going to get started with some stuff that um, I didn't show in my last charm update because obviously it's so long ago. Um, and I just wanted to put these in here just in case anyone hadn't seen the videos because I do have some tutorials and stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to start with some things that you might find familiar and then I'll go on to all the new stuff that I've made. So first I wanted to re-show, or whatever you want to call it, these um, bear bread charms. Now these you've probably seen because when I posted about them, people did go a bit nuts for them. I think the, the one of the pictures I put on my Kawaii Studios Instagram page is actually now the most liked picture on that um, page. So that's really cool. But these are just a bunch of little toasts and they've got like a bear outline. And I did do a tutorial on this so you can... Oh, I'm not even sure how you do that. What's it called? Putting a card on the screen? I feel like such a granny, I've been away for so long. If it's not on the screen, then I will put it in the a link in the description box for you, or you can search my channel. But yeah, so they just look like this, and they are, if they're a bit dusty, please excuse me, because they have been sitting around waiting for any kind of love and attention. And I might be putting these in the next Etsy restock, which should be later this week, um, but I'm not sure at the moment, because they need a good old clean up, because like I said, they're a bit dusty, and they've been waiting around for for something. Anyway, so I love these, I still love these, I think they're so so cute and obviously the face is just so tiny and the, the blush is just, yeah, I really really love these and I'm so glad people like them as well. So um, yeah, as I said, I will hopefully have like some of them on Etsy, I know not all of them are perfect so hopefully there will be some, but um, yeah, so there's those. And then I also made this little one for the tutorial, which I was just sort of showing you that you could do different things with the technique. So this just has um, some cute little hearts and faces. Again, this is probably a bit... Sorry if a lot of these older charms are a bit dusty. They've kind of been sitting around forever. But yeah, so that's a really cute one. And obviously the face is teeny teeny tiny on this one. And then I made some chocolate toast, which will be on Etsy, that I just thought I'd show you anyway, because they're an OG charm of mine, so it's quite nice that they're in this little charm update, so cute little toast ones. The mould for these is from Miniature Sweet, I will leave a link in the description box. Um, a lot of the stuff I use obviously is Miniature Sweet, because I love them, and they're just great, so just FYI. And then the last, like, bread toast charm thing that I made is this, which... I'm pretty sure there's still a picture on Instagram, I may have taken it down, but it's like a peanut butter, I'm not even sure what, what animal this is meant to be, I think it's meant to be like a wolf or a dog, but I was inspired to make this from an Instagram post that I saw, which is on the screen right here so you can see it. Um, so I did try and make the other little toast as well, but it turned out really ugly. But yeah, so it's just like a little bit of bread or toast, um, and this just took forever, um, but I do quite like doing the whole find a thing on Instagram and make it. 
And then I have some jellyfish, so these are actually like a remake of the old jellyfish that I used to make back in the day, but I did do a tutorial on these. I was hoping to sell some of these, but sadly um, they're just not strong enough, literally pretty much all of these broke off, and if I turn them upside down you can see the disgusting amounts of glue I've had to use to keep them together, but they just look uh, like this, and again there's a tutorial either on the screen or in the description, so... Sorry, my camera's kind of struggling. There you go. Looks like this. So, a bunch of different colours. Purples, pinks, pearls. And this one's a slightly different um, design. I kind of like this one. I don't know. Let me know which one, which design you prefer. I kind of like this one. Oh, it's really struggling. There you go. I kind of like this one with the cute little, like, skirt. Um, but I know a lot of people do like these derpy, like, gummy, a uh, gumdrop kind of one. So let me know which design you think is the cutest. I kind of am partial to this one. But as I said, there's a tutorial on those as well on my channel. Right, sorry, I've changed the angle. I'm I'm still rusty at everything. Um, I've just changed the angle because I realise I'm not going to fit anything in. But I'm going to keep on with the sea theme, which will glide us nicely back into food and cupcakes. So this was sort of an idea. Well, actually, it's an idea I got because I was cleaning out all my supplies and I found these that Miniature Sweet sent me. I do have a package opening video coming where I open these. I don't actually think I've shared them on my channel yet. But they sent me a bunch of these gorgeous beads and the well pearls and they're basically holeless and they have these gorgeous ombre ones they have other ones as well but like just they're just so beautiful and as soon as i saw them i freaked out and then when i was re when i was cleaning all my supplies and stuff i found them again and i was like i literally have to do something with these because like you can see them they're stunning i'll leave a link to these as well down below if you want them um again there's loads and loads of different designs um so i was just looking at these and i was like these are so stunning and they're obviously like so mermaid and so an idea just popped into my head and it's not fully completed so i'm not sure these are going to go on my etsy because i do kind of want to sort of complete the idea i had but basically i made these really really cute sort of mermaid underwater themed um, cupcakes and they have like a little pearl um oyster whatever you want to call it clam what holds a pearl in it an oyster yeah i think it's an oyster whatever it is which is kind of like a take on the little oyster thing this is really old which way up does this go the little oyster thing that i made which i think i have a tutorial on uh i will put that on the screen in the description if i do have a tutorial i'm pretty sure i do but yeah so i use exactly the same technique obviously for this top one but it's just a tiny tiny version and i used one of these beads obviously um you don't actually really see the bead as much as like in my head i was like oh yeah that'll be a great way to just use the beads and then you don't really see much of it so i did make sure like each one had like more than one colour showing so oh dear as I drop everything so you can see I sort of made sure that they all had a colour showing one of these is really wonky I think it's this one yes yeah, this one so this one I'll be keeping but yeah they look like this and I really do like the way they turned out I basically did the base to match the um, beads I think it matches really really well so I'm, I'm really happy about that because I think the bases look really cute but my main idea was so I wasn't even going to turn these into charms I was just going to make these figurines so the idea for these is then to have them on little stands i kind of wanted to make that like a little beach scene so it'd be like um sand and maybe footprints um like some of my other things that i've made in the past and i want to do that really cool like resin water effect like if you know what i mean alex from polymo mot does it all the time and i think it's just gorgeous so i kind of want to do that but i realized all my pigments are still at my parents house and i completely forgot to pick them up uh on the weekend so i don't again i really want to like finish the, like finish the idea through so i'm not sure these are going to be on my etsy but yeah i want to do that and i also wanted to again i was clearing through all of my sorry this is such a rambly video but you're gonna have to deal with it guys <sighs> sorry piece of dust um but i was clearing through all my supplies and again i found i found these gorgeous little shells um that my wonderful friend Leanne um from the crafty little ninja sent me she sent me like a little pot of like sea glass and shells from Hawaii because that's where she lives so these are from Hawaii beach and these would just look so cute on like a little stand on a little like scene next to them so I really want to like actually add like you know shells from Hawaii beach or a Hawaii beach um so yeah that's really rambly but that is the idea um let me know what you think <laughs> hopefully actually you know what if, if if people are interested i might do like a process video of that obviously i've already made these but if you want to see me try and make like the, the stand or the little scene thing then let me know again i need to definitely go and get the pigments from my parents house um because you can't i can't really replicate it here so 
yeah but that was the idea and i again I, they, they came out really cute and i absolutely love the pearls um you shouldn't really put these i asked them but they didn't reply to me in time so i just put them because they are plastic i just put them in the oven i did look it up on um, google and google was kind of telling me that they were okay to bake to a certain temperature so i did i did it normal package instructions and they were fine but obviously use your discretion when you want to bake these because they're not glass just fyi so I'm just going to carry on with the cupcakes now. So these are new, but they're obviously not a new design because I did these uh, last year? Last year or the year before? I can't quite remember, but these are one of my favourite cupcake designs I've ever made. And it's my little Cadbury's cream egg cupcakes. Um, so they have a tiny little cream egg on top, which looks like this, which FYI, I love making these little eggs so much. And then it has the goo, cut goo. It has it running out onto the icing on top and then a cute smiley face and then a ombre marbly base, which I am really really bad at but um oh well and it's kind of like turned out a lighter brown and this one's got too much orange but anyway um yeah so these are going to be going on my etsy and i love how shiny they are and i just as i said it's literally like one of my favorite cupcake designs i've ever made so i was really eager to get those back out for easter and then for easter and spring i also made a bunch of the sakura inspired cupcakes so these have little sakura um blossoms know what am I trying to say petals on top which are actually sprinkles also from an inch sweet I'll also link those down below um again I was looking at them and I was like they're just so beautiful but I basically made these ones um so these don't really match the color of the pink is a lot different but I actually think it kind of works so there's these ones which have like the kind of fluorescent pink um petals on top and then the rest of them just have these because these were the second ones I made well I think I made one of these and two of those and then I realised quite how pretty these were when they came out. So I think all of these are okay to sell or maybe only a few of them. I need to check over them. But yeah, they're really pretty. So they're just like classic pink base with pink icing and then white petals on top. And I just think they're so cute. And every single time I make something Secura inspired, it just reminds me of Leanne and her little girl. So that always makes me happy. So you can't go wrong with that, can you? <laughs> And then again, it seems I'm either inspired by something on Instagram or supplies. And a lot of these, like I said, will be in a video that's probably coming very soon where I un, um, like unbox something from Miniature Suite or do a package opening. And a lot of this stuff will be in there. But timing wise, I just, I can't do it chronologically at the moment. So I just wanted to get this up. But I also received a um, really, 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 really tiny Oreo mold from Miniature Suite, which when I got it, I was freaking out and I was so excited to use it. And I finally, finally, finally used it. And I absolutely love making them. So I actually make loads and loads of them just for fun and then you'll see what I also use them for. So they're literally tiny, obviously to um, get away with, copy what get away with, that sounds so bad, to not be um, in trouble with Oreo. Um, obviously the R is the wrong way around, but these are just like tiny, tiny, tiny little cookies, which then I've used for a bunch of different things. Um, so I had this idea, I'm not really sure where, I don't think I got this from somewhere, but it just, it's been in my head for ages. And I haven't finished glazing the top of this one. But I made a little Oreo bear. Didn't turn out as well as I wanted. I think it is going to go up on Etsy. But it's not. It just didn't work quite as well as I was hoping. Um, but yeah. So I basically did like an Oreo base. Which I used quite chunky bits of like black clay. So I did um, coat this in uh, liquid clay as well. To make sure it wouldn't come off. If I anything wouldn't come out or off. If I sold it. So that's why it looks a bit thick <laughs> yeah so i um, need to glaze the top but it's just this really cute little bear and obviously little half oreos that i made are the ears and obviously that's just two little cookies um that i filled and then chopped in half and it's just white icing and he is really cute but again he didn't turn out quite as well as i wanted him to so i might redo him at some point but obviously it's quite quite a task um but i did make some other oreo ones which again didn't turn out quite how i wanted but i think they're gonna sell um or i think i'm gonna sell them because I think people would really like them and again they're not really cleaned up or glazed so please excuse that but they are just these ones so it's the same kind of base again I did go over these with liquid clay because there's like massive chunks sticking out obviously but they are basically just white they're iced with white icing and they've just got chunks of Oreo but I just went a bit overboard with the Oreo chunks so it looks a bit stupid but I'll put these up and see if anyone wants them and then maybe I'll try redo them they're just nice and simple so obviously I just have like a bunch of those Oreo biscuits that I've just chopped up um ready to use on things so it's really cool I really like having like supplies like that just lying around 
And then I also just made some like tiny little Oreo cookie charms, which I think I might either put on the cupcake charms I just showed you, or I don't know, make little earrings with them or something. Sorry, they're so tiny they can't it can't focus. There we go. They're a little bit dirty, so I need to clean those up as well. Oh, there's a little Oreo sitting there. This is getting a bit messy, guys. Sorry. And then the last thing, actually, no, sorry, I made two more things with the Oreos. This is why I was saying I like having like because obviously you can do so much with the little Oreos, so I'm really excited to just have those. So I made another cupcake which was inspired. I literally was just sitting here and I was like, right, you know what? I'm just gonna sit, I'm just gonna find something on Instagram and make it. I need to stop faffing about and thinking of ideas, like let's just make it. So I made this little cupcake, which isn't a charm, it's just um meant to be more of a like a well, I say realistic. Um realistic cupcake obviously it's not massive it's meant to look like a proper little muffin and this is from this photo on instagram so as i was trying to do i was trying to do it exactly as it is there and i also have tried to photograph it um in exactly the same way which will be up on quiet studios at some point but it is basically a little cupcake with a gold base um I didn't put enough little shavings of black in the icing for it to probably look right but it's meant to be like oreo icing um, a chocolate cake and then the little sprinkles which I'm really annoyed because I didn't have enough well I literally didn't have any rainbow polymer clay sprinkles so I had to go with micro marbles and they bled everywhere and doesn't look that great but yeah and then there's like a half oreo cookie on top which like I said I made or I used the mold and then I made it and then there is also this pink icing so I think it looks proper cute but again I would have preferred it if it had like proper rainbow um polymer clay sprinkles on it and not micro marbles but yeah it's pretty cute and it got me making something and yeah it's a bit different from what I usually do so I do quite like that and then the last thing right this really is the last oreo thing is this which again it's been inspired by sending on instagram so this is a oreo donut pan or panda oreo donut so this was inspired by a donut company I assume in California called California Donuts and I have been following them for ages and I love their donuts I just think they're so pretty they're so like Instagram yeah I've seen this and I've always wanted to make it but obviously without a mold I'm not good enough to sculpt tiny Oreos myself and so when the mold came I was, I was like right I know exactly what to do with that um so yeah it's basically a little panda made out of Oreos so you've got two Oreo cookies as the ears and then some broken cookies as the nose and the eyes and it looks like this it is a little bit dirty because I've been having problems I tried to glaze this matte but for some reason my matte glaze has gone really really sticky so I had to go back over it with um, like gloss glaze so there's like loads of dirt so I'm not thinking about it because I'm annoyed um, but it still looks really cute and the um, photo that I was inspired by it looks like this um, you should definitely go follow them, they always have such cute little designs and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is just something I've wanted to make for ages, so I'm really happy I did, and I think it looks super cute, and I can't wait to take photos of this as well for Instagram. I think that's going to be really cute. So I also am in the process of trying to do a remake video, because like Charm Updates, I know remake videos used to, well, used to be, or are really, really popular, and I love doing them, obviously, and it'd be a really nice sort of push back into the community if I could remake some stuff. So I did, I'm not going to show you the remake, because obviously I'm going to save that um, for the video, and I would usually save this charm for that video, but... I thought why not just show you so I remade a little um, cake and if you can remember what cake this is a remake from it's not exactly the same but if you can you're like an OG it still isn't perfect because I got lazy when I was making it but I'm quite proud of it and if you could see it next to the re um, the old one you you'd agree so it is basically just a really really simple iced strawberry cake with canes and it's like chocolate and vanilla and again the sides are kind of gross because I got lazy so it's no, still not perfect and probably needs redoing but I made this and obviously there are a bunch of slices or a couple of slices left um, and I have it on like a little plate here I was photographing it so I was photographing it with like a little um a little plate and a fork so I think this is like proper cute so I'm really proud because I've never really been able to make cakes and I'm still not great at it and as I said I got proper lazy but yeah I'm quite proud of this and like I said if you could see the um original then you'd agree so yeah look out for a remake video as well which again I as I said is hopefully coming at some point oh I'm running out of room so yeah oh wait I also made these really random hearts which are the last thing I'm going to show you um yeah, I just was making a colour for something. I can't remember what it, what it was, but I realised quite how pretty it was. It kind of looked like quartz, and not just like quartz from Fimo, but like it just had the prettiest colours running through it, and I didn't know what to do with it, so I've just made these little heart charms, like my little stars. 
I don't know if I'm actually going to do anything with these, um, but they're quite cute. So yeah, I made those as well, just randomly. You know when you just like make a colour of clay and you're like, oh, I have to do something with that because it's so pretty. So right, that is the end of the video. I actually am losing my voice, my throat hurts. I'm so rusty at this, it's ridiculous. But I have to admit, I've had so much fun being back and filming this. So please let me know if you enjoyed this and also let me know which charm is your favourite or if it's not a charm, which piece of cake or whatever is your favourite. So anything I mentioned in this video, like supplies, miniature suite links or tutorials or anything, I will obviously leave links in the description box for you. There is also an FAQ, so if you have any questions, you can look there. But if you can't find your answer, then as usual, you can comment down below and I will try and answer it for you. So as I said, thank you so much for watching and you can watch some of my other videos on the screen right now and also check out my social media and all my links in the description box. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you for being amazing. Bye guys.